Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Uh, it's nice to have everybody here today. And uh, our, we're, we're going to be talking about a couple different things. Uh, one topic we're going to be talking about today is the importance of being dedicated to the path, the path of awakening. And um, as well as, so first I'm going to start with that. And uh, one of our Instagram participants also had asked about, um, I know, I know this gentleman and asked this question. He's been asking me this question a couple of times. Are you talking about him asking in Farsi language, right? Uh, Hilda, not not in English. In mm, he wrote to me, or he wrote to you in English, actually. In English, okay. Yes. So the other question is, and what is the question? <laughs> I will find it one more time. Um, what do you mean by saying God is in the both side of bullies and underdogs? Right, okay. So, yeah. Uh, so this gentleman is asking, what do you mean when I say God is in both sides? It means is the good guy and the bad guy. So, and, uh, so let's see how far we go with our first topic. And then we'll see if we get to the second one. If not, then the second one, we're going to get into it next, next week. Because next week I'll be back in Tulum, inshallah, God willing, if... Uh, existence cooperates, and then uh, we can get into that one. Uh, <clears throat> so when I was with Master Papaji, when I was in India, in Indra Nagar, actually, um, Lakhna is the capital of Uttar Pradesh, which is uh, UP. And we were, and there's an area called Indra Nagar that Papaji lived there. And we were with Papa. And of course, again, as I've said uh, previously, that everything we talk about, the moment that I say something and the word comes out of my mouth, the, everything goes into duality. So... The opposite of it is correct, because the moment you say something, that word is an object. So both sides of it are correct, and it could be argued. The, so it's a concept. Everything we talked about entering into fifth dimension, the non-duality, the fact that you are not the doer and, and you don't have any free will. Um, there is no karma. There is karma. There is no past lives. There is past lives. All of these things are concepts. Everything in spir spirituality, the world of spirit that you are perceiving, you are reading about, you're hearing it from your teachers, are concepts. None of them are the actual truth. They're all pointing out in that direction because the actual truth of the spirit mm -hmm. is not, it cannot be verbalized. And it's not something you can think about. It just doesn't exist. It, it becomes a concept. The actual truth of the spirit is, is in silence. It can only be communicated in silence, not through thoughts. So <clears throat> everything I say and everything anybody else is say, just bear in mind that it's a concept. It's not that. 
Okay. So did we get this part of it? Are we, are we, any questions so far up to now? So when I talk about, for example, this topic of dedication, then there's going to be questions arising, and I'm going to get into that too. I will explain this part of it too, because I'm sure some of you are going to be thinking about it, and, and you're going to be uh, struggling with, with what I say as I have struggled with them for God knows how many years I went through internal struggle with these issues. So I want to explain them to you very clearly so you don't fall into this trap. Or in other words, you won't be mind-fucking for a long time, going back and forth. Well, Zarathustra said, I have no free will. But now Zarathustra says, that that I have to be 100% dedicated to freedom. But if I don't have any free will, how can I be 100% dedicated to freedom? And so all these thoughts are going to come up for you. So I'm going to put this in a way that we can understand it. And but you know it's like taking it with a grain of salt and with a wink, and then hopefully it will click, because none of the things I'm talking to you is like uh, you pick up a book and you're reading a book. When you're reading a book. And there is these writings. And then, you know, the lines, the writings, they're one line under the other one, under the other one, under the other one, right? So you're reading the book from the top to the bottom. So you're reading the lightings, but the truth is not in what you're, you're reading. Actually, the truth is in between the two lines. It's not the lines that you're reading. It's between the lines. Does it make any sense? Okay. So I will explain things to you. But you cannot have a regimented type of mind and really hanging on and getting married and making love to the words as if these are the final words. You have to figure out what I'm saying in between the words. Because again, I, can, I cannot tell you that which is in words. It's impossible but I can direct you in that direction for you to find it out same way I found it out for myself. Okay. So this path that we're on and for the sheer um, happening that you, we have been together for a long time. You know, uh, with some of you, I don't know, from 10, 11 years ago, we met uh, and we've been together since then. And then I started the Academy on 2015. And, and uh, some of you that knew me from then, pretty much regularly, you've been with me since then. So you're dedicated to this work. So what is it? What, what is in the air? What is it that really pulls you to these teachings? What is it that brings you to this? You know, when we live on an era that there is thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, if maybe a million different teachers out there. And 
why wouldn't you go to other people and and be dedicated coming to this? Why is this pulling you? And other things, of course, you know, you may be checking out other things naturally, checking out, snooping around to see what's going on with other teachers. What do they say? Picking up a little bit from this guy, that lady, that woman, da 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 da. But mainly you're pulled back to this one. And so what is it? What's what's in there that does it? So something inside us is really feel a connection to this particular vibrations, to this particular teachings. You know, you may say, okay, it's his face or his eyes or the way he speaks, or maybe because, because it's free, maybe because I don't know, he's honest or da 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 da, whatever the mind has some kind of reasons that I'm going in that direction because of that. But in the underlying, in the invisible world, we all know that outside of what we're looking at in physical world, we all have discovered that there's a network that is in underlying of what is being perceived and we're seeing with our senses. You know, whether I'm feeling, touching, smelling, uh, ta tasting, hearing, there's a network of like internet connection, which is in the backside that keeps everything connected to everything. And we all have discovered that without a doubt. We all know there is something much greater than what the eye perceives. And we've already discovered that. This is nothing new for any of you. You already know that there is something. There's a connection there. There's an inner connection between everything. Similarly, you experience it. You think of somebody and then boom, they call you. Or, you know, you have a vision like a few minutes before, five minutes before you're going to drop this glass and it's going to break and you drop it and you break it. And, uh, you know, you know, there's going to be an accident happening to your mom and boom, an accident happens. We all have developed this connection to, and discovered that there is something in the, in the background of the regular life. Something back there is running the show and something is very connected to everything. We know that. And there's the magic of it. So... I'm explaining these things because I want to lead this conversation to the next thing I'm going to be talking about to make it easier for all of us to understand that this particular path, especially this particular teachings, out of all the other teachings, And any teachings that's same same thing, maybe other teachers are talking about what I'm talking about, but they're using different language. But it's, again, the same teachings. This particular path is it's getting narrowed. It's like you have a funnel, you know, you have you have a funnel, you know, you know, you guys know funnel. You know, when you want to pour water or whatever, you have a container and you need a funnel and you're pouring it through the funnel. So it has funneled to a very, very narrow path. It means that somehow, in some way, whether there's past lives or there's not, your soul, your being has evolved 
and and now is only interested in the final teachings. You have no interest in any blah blah blah. Any of anything outside of direct truth that it really hits on the doubt, on the dot, you have no interest in it, no patience. And you all have gone on the internet and listened to other teachers and other teachings and tried different courses, you know, going to this class, that class, doing this, doing that. None of them doing it for you. You're like, eh, I'm not into it. It's not, it's not pulling me. I'm just really resonating with this one. And when I say this one, I'm not even talking about me, okay? Because this one, it's coming out of my mouth, but it's not personal. It's not like I'm not the founder of this teaching. I'm not the first person who is teaching this concept. There's been thousands of other teachers throughout the history of mankind who have been saying and transmitting these teachings. I'm just one of them. But right now, for some reason, you're attracted to this one that's coming out of my mouth. Why, blah, 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 those things don't matter. They're just blah, blah, blah. The fact is like, you know, these Doberman dogs, Doberman, the dogs, Doberman. And then the moment their attention goes to something, boom, their ears goes up. You know, maybe they saw a cat in the bush or they saw a rabbit and they get really like sharp. And it's the same thing. You're like Doberman dogs and you heard something that you resonate with and boom, you're not really, now you're really laser focused on it. Like, wait a minute, what's going on? You're just really paying attention. So because this particular teaching, it's extremely advanced. And because it's so advanced, only resonates with those who have also become advanced or they're very, very close to the last part, the last step, the last bridge that they need to cross this bridge to awakening, to freedom, to completely freeing themselves from this wheel of karma, from this wheel of duality, to free yourself from this illusion that there are other people, there are others on this planet, from this illusion that there is enemy out there, there is an illusion that Oh, there is the Taliban or there is the fanatic Islamic people or there is the Ku Klux Klan, you know, the racist white supremacist exists or the Nazis exist or the, the communism exists or there's aliens coming or there's conspiracies happening like you know, the big corporations creating conspiracy, they created pandemic. The Rothschild, the Rockefellers, you know, the, the blah, you know, there's the 5G technology to destroy us. The AI is coming and takes over human race. All these stories that there is a duality you know, or the Jews and the Muslims, this battle they have with each other and they're at each other's throat and they're all killing each other. Or the U.S. has become dominating and they're exporting their worst culture possible to other countries. You know, whatever conflict 
whatever story you're hearing, especially you go on Facebook and you cruise Facebook, there's so many different stories there. But all of these stories are in duality. There are others and us. The unconscious people on this planet who are destroying the land, they're exploiting resources, they're drilling oral wigs in Alaska or other places, they're dumping chemicals into the oceans, they're killing animals in billions, they're destroying all these stories that you hear are happening in the world of duality. And once you get involved in it, you're outside of the oneness. You're sucked back into the matrix, believing that there are other people. Other people exist. And you have to protect yourself against them. So you have are evolving to a point to pass this bridge. It's like a pyramid. And when you get to the top of the pyramid, you know, you hiked this pyramid for days. And you keep going up, going up, going up, going up. When you get to the very top of the pyramid, you're at one single pointed place. There's nowhere to go. You can't go this way. You can't go this way. You can. You're on the very top. There's nowhere to go. You're at the very oneness on the top of it. There's nowhere else to go. So, and, and once you really get into this work and you start to understand it, there's only one way to go. And that one way is to come to freedom. 100% freedom of what? Freedom of the understanding that there are no other human beings on this planet. There's no other groups. There's no other things. They just don't exist. They are all your own self. You are only looking at yourself. That's you. And then, of course, the question comes that well, how come I don't feel it if it's only me? How come I'm struggling with paying my rent? Why am I struggling to find a lover? Why am I having a hard time with my parents? Why am I struggling with my kids? Why am I struggling with health issues? Why my body, this, my, you know, this, that, da, 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 da. These questions come for you. Why am I afraid of dying? Why am I lonely? All these things come. I'm going to get into that too. Just hold on a second. Wait for a moment. You're getting, you, you are right now, those who are very, very attracted to this topic and what I'm talking about, something pulls you in, that's an indication that you're very, very close. Very close. Close, what I mean is I'm not talking, could be the next few minutes, next month, next year, or maybe next 30 years. But it arriving to the final destination, even if you have to wait for another 30 years, in comparison to the path that for millions of years that you've been coming, 30 years is really nothing. If you have been living 
1,000 lives, and now you're at the last 30 years of it, then means like it's next door. It's very close. Or your next five years. Surely you can endure suffering for another five years. If you have suffered a thousand years, five more years is nothing. Or whatever you've gone through this life so far, if you have to wait for another five years, so what? Here, you know. So when I say close, I don't know how close, like again, next five minutes or next 40 years. I don't know, but you're close. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. As simple as that. Because there's so many other teachings that are a lot more attractive than this one. They're so promising. They're so rewarding. This one, in comparison to them, is very, very boring. Because it doesn't give you anything. It doesn't promise you anything. There's nothing in there for you in this one. And when I say there's nothing in there for you, is there's nothing in there for the I thought. I am someone capable of doing something. And if I put my mind into it, I can reach it. That I I'm talking about. In this teaching, I have nothing for, for you, for that person. Because that person doesn't exist. So I have nothing for you. For when I say you is I'm I'm talking about your sense of individuality, your sense that you are someone capable of accomplishing something. For that person, I have nothing to give. So this is very boring. If you want to fulfill that person, you go to Anthony Robbins. You go to other teachers who are going to give you something to do to accomplish something. Then there's goodies there in there for you. Or you're taking courses that how to manifest your love of life. There is a bag of cookies there for you. Or how you can manifest money and you become financially independent. Damn, that's a good course because I want to get rich. I'll just go and spend a thousand, two thousand dollars learning the secrets of how I can attract money or how I can attract my love of life. It's worth it to spend five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a couple of weeks here and there, man. I'm going to learn to find my love of life for a few hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars. This is a good deal, isn't it? So there's some goodies there for me. But here, there's nothing. There's no goodies. But somehow, you are here. And since you're here, then know that you're close because this is a different language. It's not the language of the intellect. It's not the language of mind. It's not the language of objects. This is the language of the heart. It's a complete different story. So, now back to the main part of the topic is <clears throat> you get to this point that the fire gets really strong inside you <clears throat> and you become like a moth you know moth you know these little butterflies moth and you know you got some kind of flame you got a candle light you're sitting outside on your porch. You have a candle light. You're having your meditation music going on. You got your glass of wine. You're sitting there and there's this moth 
flying around the candlelight. They're attracted to the light. And they go around it, go around it. And one of the times they get so close that their wing gets cut, catches the fire, and the fire burns them. And it kills them out. And that's what's happening to you. You're getting getting close to get killed. And what's going to get killed? It's the I thought. I am someone capable of doing this and that. I am an individual and I'm suffering. I'm going to hard emotional stories. I hate myself, I love myself, look at me, I'm so sexy, look at me, I'm so ugly, I'm so stupid, I'm so smart. That I is about to be destroyed. That one is gonna get burned. And then then there's no I anymore. So when you get this close, and you realize it, that's where you get more dedicated. Your dedication comes to freedom. Freedom is going to have to be your number one thing. Everything else is bullshit. Everything else is secondary. Everything else is going to have to go on the side. Freedom is going to be the number one thing. It's like, I don't give a damn about anything else. I just want to become free. And my dedication is solo to that, to the teachings. It's solo to my my teacher, to my guru. Solo to the... And when I say the guru, I'm not talking about the person. The guru is here, you know, to the master not the guy, the girl, the woman. I'm not talking about go worship your teacher blindly. I'm not talking about that. Worship the teachings. Get dedicated to the teachings, not the teacher. Because the actual guru is inside yourself. It's always been inside yourself. But the guru's language, your inner guru's language, you don't understand it. So you need an other guru outside of yourself to show up in your life to start educating you so you can understand the inner guru's language. Because the inner guru's language is not English or Spanish or Turkish, or German. It's the language of the heart. And you're starting to understand it. Yeah, starting to understand the language of the heart. And the more we spend time together, and the more in this field, the more we're investing in being being here. It's an, this is an investment. The more... F- refined we become, the more tuned in we become. But it's an investment, of course. Investment of your time, investment of your practice, investment of money. It's it's an emotional investment. There's, There's a lot of investments. And there's sacrifice you have to make. And nobody said this is going to be an easy peasy story. You know? Because you're going to have to kill your parents. You're going to have to kill your lovers. You're going to have to kill your best friends. You're going to have to kill a lot of people. And then you're going to have to kill yourself.
I'm not talking literally killing people. I know you guys understand it, but somebody's watching me on Instagram is going to say, as Artistra says, you have to go kill your parents. No, what I'm saying is you're killing your attachment to your parents. You're killing your identity that you have parents. You're killing your nationality that I'm not even Polish or I'm not even Norwegian or I'm not even German. You have to get rid of that one too. And I'm not even a Christian or a Jew and I'm not even a woman or a man and I'm not even white or, or, or black. You got to get rid of all these ideas you have all these concepts, all these labels that have, they have attached on you, which a lot of us are very like attached to it. You're going to get rid of all of this stuff. You got to get rid of all your ideas, all your concepts. I'm a healer. I can heal this person. I'm a psychic, I can read about people. I'm da 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 da, you gotta, there is past lives, there is this, you gotta get rid of every single idea that you're dearly hanging on to, you're gonna have to get rid of them. That's what I'm saying, you have to kill yourself too. Can you do it? If you can, then you get an invitation to join the club. If you have a hard time doing it, then you just stay where you're at and you know, come back next time. It's just as simple as that. But you're gonna have to dedicate yourself in getting rid of your ideas. And I did that. You know? And you get challenged. But you're going to have to get dedicated to it. Because freedom must be your number one desire. I want to become free in this life. That's what I want. And in that, you have to make sacrifices. Tough stuff, really. There are times you're going to have to make really tough decisions. Disappointing your lover, disappointing your kids, disappointing your community, you're going to have to disappoint a lot of people, which I do. I disappoint people all the time. And they hate it, or they hate me, or they don't want me back, or whatever. Their ideas, whatever is the idea. Oh, Zartustra. Oh, for example, let's say I'm in the retreat, you know, at the end of the retreat, I'm sitting outside on a porch and I'm smoking five cigarettes in a row. And one of my dedicated students comes or one of my students come that, you know, they build this idea of me that I'm a saint and I'm just like, walk on the clouds, I can walk on water. And now they're really disappointed because I'm smoking cigarettes. Or I go to the bar and I drink three quarter of a bottle of whiskey. What? What? And you have disappointed. They don't want to follow you anymore because you disappointed their idea of how a free person should be how a spiritual person is going to be. 
you killed their idea. You disappointed them, which again, I do this all the time. I'm not doing it purposely. I'm myself. I don't give a shit. If this person is going to be, I, I'm not trying to disappoint them, but I, my commitment is to be myself. I don't give a shit whether you like it or you don't like it. Oh, we, we, we were disappointed. Fine, sweetheart. Go to St. Da-da-da-da. He's vegetarian. He doesn't have sex. He uses very clean, pristine language. Everything he does is holy. There it is. Go follow him. I'm using this as an example, okay? Drinking, smoking, or whatever. There's so many other stuff that it has happened. You know, like we had this lady came to our third eye activation um, uh, event uh, last year, Hilde, you remember in in uh, in um, uh, Hamar? Yes, I remember. Yeah. And she had a nice, beautiful lady. She had flown from another city. She came for that particular third eye activation event. And she left very disappointed because I didn't activate her third eye. I mean, it's not like I didn't want to activate her third eye, but nothing really happened. So she was disappointed. What am I supposed to do? Change my program, add another two hours, to uh, do a bunch of jumping jacks because I have to satisfy somebody. Yeah, I'm just going to have my program because she came with all these ideas, full of ideas, you know, that, wow, I've been following Zarathustra for the past few years and he's God and his reincarnation of, I don't know, Jesus, and he's going to put his hand on my third eye, and I'm just going to go, and all the knowledge of the world is going to come to me. So you're coming so full with these ideas to the teacher, and nothing happens. And now you're very disappointed. So be yourself, be authentic, don't be afraid of disappointing people because you will your job is not to it's not a popularity contest <clears throat> your job is to be yourself and to be authentic and be dedicated to freedom dedicated and really honestly following your own heart Within limits, of course, following my own heart, maybe one day I want to go across the street naked. Well, you know, I can't. I mean, I can, but I'm going to get picked up by police. And then I have to spend like a few months going back and forth in the court system. So there's consequences, of course. When I say you have to, you know, yeah, follow your heart and be dedicated in honoring your heart. There's limits to it as far as society is concerned, because if you do something that society doesn't agree to it, then you have your there's consequences that you have to pay for. It. So you need to be smart. You can't be stupid. But what I'm talking about is that on your path, you're dedicated. And you have to also understand there's going to be consequences, as simple as that. There's going to be people not wanting you, not liking you, not wanting to see you. Uh, it's a part of the deal. You just got to do it and stick to the teachings, stick to the teachings. 
against all the evidence in the world. You know, everyone's freaking out because the Russia attacked blah, 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 or, you know, they're promoting a new war coming or a new pandemic. How do you know there's not going to be, not going to be another pandemic gig coming out one of these days, you know? So everyone's putting you under the pressure to get vaccinated, giving you a lot of hard time. And you don't want to be vaccinated, for example. I'm not saying get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated. That's not my job to tell you what to do, okay? I'm not telling anyone what to do. You have to decide for yourself. I'm not telling you you should smoke weed, get high on marijuana, or go take ayahuasca, or go do boof, or whatever. It's not for me to tell anyone what to do. Do whatever you you feel like it's good for you. I did whatever I want. I felt it's good for me. So, you know, I'm not writing a prescription for anyone. I do my own thing. And I don't care. But sometimes I have to hide it from other people because they can't handle it. Most of the time. I can't tell them what I do because they don't have the capacity of understanding it. So they're like little kids. You're a mother and you're dealing with kids. Are you going to tell your kids everything? No. They're not ready. You're going to, if you want to tell some of your stuff you're doing, you share it with people who have the capacity of understanding it. Or you just do it quietly and you do it on your own. So you have to do your own thing. And you have to remain truthful to it and be dedicated to your freedom. You want to become free. And this freedom requires you just destroy and get rid of any kind of spiritual idea you have. And begin developing, following the teachings, following the direction that your teacher, the teaching is sending you in that direction. You follow that direction. It says, okay, go that way. Don't worship this. Go that direction if you want to become free. And that direction, the recognition that there is no me as an individual entity capable of making its own decisions and there is no others. There are others, of course. There's seven, eight billion people or whatever number it is. I don't even know if it's true or bullshit because I've never seen a billion people in one place. So to me, as far as I know, it's a number. It's just, it could be like 500,000 people on the planet. I don't know. But of course, there are other people on the planet. but they're all my own self. Of course, there's rapists, assholes, egomaniacs, psychos on this planet, but they're all myself. Do I need to be friends with them or like them or be around them? No. Do I need to hang around people who are annoying? No. But I know in... Their essence is my own self. So I don't have any fear of the world. I don't have any fear of eternal what's going to happen. I don't have any fear of the stories of the world that world's going to end. And so what ends? Who gives a shit this world's going to end? You're going to be long, long dead before the world ends. Who gives a shit that the world is going to be here 50, 60 years from now and after you're dead? Do you give a shit? 
it's gone, gone. It's none of your business or my business to save this world. Somebody else made it. Let somebody else deal with it. It's not, I didn't make it. But in the meantime, every time I fall back inside my own heart and I'm here, boom, I experience what 99.99% .99 of the people on this planet are dying to get to is the bliss of the God. It's the love, which is here. And you have the ability to do it too. I know you do. I know you've experienced it. I know you want it. It's here. Cut all the bullshit out and just dive into this love and keep making love. You just keep making love with Her Majesty. The Supreme Soul is making love to you. Go have five orgasms a day when God is making love to you. What are you worried about what's going to happen 20 years from now? Why are you wasting your time with bullshit? When you can be in bed, make love to God. Who gives a shit? about the rest. <laughs> I hope I answered your question, Hilda. Yeah, thank you. Somebody left us some messages. Let me check to see what's happening. Let's see. What do we have here? Ooh, lots of them. Lucia. Lucia, hello, Lucia. With divine spirit, you can talk also easily, telepathically, da da da. Holy Spirit, divine, feminine energy. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna show yes. Yes to all of it, Lucia. Well done, my dear. You are absolutely right. <clears throat> The power is here. The power is yours. The power is unlimited. And you have direct access to it. So what are you bitching about? All you have to do is be quiet and stay with it and get rid of the trash. Get rid of all these stuff you've been reading here and there and all the spiritual teachings and all the stuff. Get rid of them because they're useless. I mean, they were useful to get you to this point and you don't need them anymore. Just put them in a toilet and flush them because you don't need any stories. You don't need any concepts. You don't need anything. It's over. It's done. You know, shut up and dance. Be quiet. Just keep your mouth shut and just be in silence. Be quiet. Dance. Make love. Be here. She's showering you with love. You go to all these stories of da 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 da, -da and you know, my traumatized, and I'm working on my emotions and. 
and I don't know. Well, yeah, you go to the story, you're gonna suffer. Get rid of the stories. Get rid of the fat. Just be here. What, what difficult is that? I don't get it. What part of this we don't un, we don't get? Here, right now, in silence, in your heart, no thoughts. And all of a sudden, you discover yourself in the kingdom of heaven. And you don't need to know what's going to happen. You don't need to know where you were before you were born. You don't need to know where you're going to go after you die. These are all blah, 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 blah. Here is the only place there is. And you got it. Slowly, slowly come back.
the less you think, the less you try to figure things out, the more you can see something else is taking care of all the thinking and all the planning. But it's hard to figure it out when we're keep thinking, thinking, thinking. You just have to be quiet. And then you see something takes care of everything, including you. So for those who are viewing this event for the first time, um, my social media pages are Zoratustra 5D. Uh, email is info at zoratustra.tv and my website is zoratustra.tv. Um, I head out, head out to Poland around October 14th or 15th have an event, no, three events in Warsaw and two weekend workshops in Krakow. It's my first time going to Krakow and I'm very excited about it. Actually, because I, I've i never been there. I heard a lot of good stories about it and uh, it's a historic city apparently. It just hasn't been bombed during the Second World War. So I'm really like to excited to explore it. After Poland, I will be going to Bulgaria, to Sofia, which I've never been there either. And I'm excited to explore Sofia as well. And then back to Frankfurt. Uh, so it's a five week journey, five workshops. It's gonna be a little bit tough and a bunch of little events in between, but uh, I think I can handle it, hopefully, God willing. Uh, my body will hold up. And looking forward to see you, my beloveds. I pretty much, I believe, going to see most of you there and who are here at the Academy. Uh, the main broadcast here is being done through the Zoom, which you can um, register through my website at 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness and become a member of it, and you will be receiving a copy of this broadcast. Uh, those of you who are on Instagram, if you feel like, or even at my academy, you feel like this broadcast could be helpful to them, I appreciate it if you share and forward it to them. Sending you lots of love and light and look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Namaste, much love, much light.